jaws should grow forward rather than downwards. But not everybody is aware of the consequence of jaws which don't grow forwards. Um, the main problem is that if the top jaw drops, which it frequently does, and you finish with flat cheeks like I have, then the lower jaw will swing down, lengthening the face. But this has a secondary problem in that the tongue will then move to the back of the throat because it's held by the lower jaw. That causes obstruction of the airway, which is quite serious. It will make you snore at night, but it can have, cause deeper problems. Even your health um, could make you get chronically tired. But the body can normally respond to this by tilting the head back, and that moves the lower jaw forward and opens the throat out. But then, of course, you're looking up in the sky. So in order to adjust, you then bend your neck at this point, doing a forward movement like that, so that your head is here and your neck then goes like that. And that creates the hump on the back that so many old people have. But it isn't only the neck that's affected, the whole of the spine. In fact, the rest of the body, including the shoulders, um, and indeed your whole body posture is affected by this. And in the long term, this can cause quite a um, noticeable effect on your general health. So generally, the secret is to keep your jaws closed, hold your head up with your mouth shut.